Hello everyone and welcome back to Common Sense Crypto. This is Rich here looking today at XRP. We're sitting around 41 cents. Market looks good. We're leveled out. We're not crashing no more. Everything seems to look good. And as we all know, this was a crazy crash that we just all seen and we went through. I mean, I bought some Luna before it was taken down. I figured, you know, look, it's a gamble. Buy it hold it see what happens i don't know if any of you bought it but i thought it was a good idea after all it was sitting at almost a hundred dollars right before the crash and right now all over twitter and everywhere else the fud is coming in fear uncertainty and doubt everybody wants you to cash out now so they could buy up all of your xrp and all of your other cryptocurrencies but if you let the FUD come in and you sell, that's the only way you're going to lose. So, every, like always, just be patient and don't let the FUD get to you. I mean, even Coinbase tells you, if you let the FUD let you give up, you're going to end up wrecked. I mean, listen, nobody wants to go and put $1,000 in and then, oh no, the sky's falling. Pull, the, pull out your $1,000 and then watch the market take off. It's just not at all a good idea just be patient sit back and just be patient this is something i found um it shows xrp and it says oh no brad what do we do now don't worry that's not our rocket and we all know we're going to the moon it's just in it's inevitable it's just sit back and be patient do nothing else uh now we're looking at xrp uh we're wondering why the price doesn't move. You know, everybody out there, you know, puts up something. Oh, it was adopted here. It was adopted there. Uh, everything looks good on the structure, but the price just sits either sideways or it drops down. And most people don't understand that just because somebody adopts XRP, the price is not going to skyrocket overnight. It's something that takes time. So while you're, while you're watching it and wondering, man, this coin is never moving. It just seems like one of those things that you bought into and now you got to hold it forever. But it's not going to be like that. We all know it's not going to be like that. I mean, honestly, if we didn't have the lawsuit or anything else, things might have moved a lot quicker. But again, just be patient. The capital of crypto says the greatest power is often simple patience. I mean, if you're looking to buy in at 8 o'clock in the morning and make a huge profit by 5 o'clock in the afternoon, it's just not going to happen. I mean, hey, you might get lucky and you might buy into a coin and say three hours later it's skyrocketing to a new all-time high. XRP doesn't quite work like that. It's going to be one of those things while you're sitting back waiting for it to go. All of a sudden you look at it and you're like, wow, XRP is up, you know, 500% today. It's like, wow, you know, and while everything else in the market might not be moving that day. And different things move XRP's prices. A lot of it is the XRP community. A lot of people buy in. They, you know, nobody wants to be left behind. And it's just, we just sit back and wait. After all, we, we hold the coin that has the most utility. It has, it's green. It's the quickest cross-border payment system. It's one of those assets that you buy and, hey, we might get a utility run. And all of a sudden we turn around and the price of XRP is $150. You don't know. Nobody knows. And if we had a crystal ball, we could say, hey, buy it today because today's the day it goes off. But we can't do that. So with all that said, the main thing is the SEC lawsuit. Everybody is talking about it. Everybody has been talking about it. If you held crypto before the lawsuit happened, you know we were moving. I mean, we were right up there with the market i mean everything looked great it looked like we were everybody was about to be a millionaire and everything was about to take off quick and everything was supposed to move relatively smooth 
Then the lawsuit came. And I remember sitting there saying, wow, I can't even believe this just happened. Because all of a sudden, your asset goes from, you know, you're looking at your account, you're like, wow, I had this yesterday and today I have this. It's like that shook out so many people, I'm sure, especially new investors. Anyone who just bought in right before the lawsuit probably said, yeah, this is it for me. I'm done with crypto. I'm never buying into any type of crypto again. And the bad thing about that is, is this. It scared away a lot of new investors. It scared away a lot of people that never heard of diamond hands, never heard of anything that could happen. And here's the four things that I wanted to talk about. These are the things that a lot of people say is holding Ripple back right now. And the Ripple case not being dismissed is one of them. That's probably the biggest one. I mean, everybody's going to talk about that until we get a ruling and everything is done. And But here's the other thing. And this, where it says XRP security status is still unknown, what they mean by that is the fact that we don't know if it's a security or if it's a currency. The XRP community knows it's a currency, but we want that whole ruling to come down and the, where they say hey it's absolutely a currency and it's relisted everywhere and all of a sudden the price moves drastically to the upside and everybody's going to be happy people that got out of xrp are going to be like oh my god i got to get back in because this is moving so quick now the problem is the price is going to be so high you might not get enough of it to see the kind of money you could have seen if you would have bought in much cheaper IPO concerns. Okay, here's the thing. Okay, I don't think Brad Garlinghouse is thinking so much of being an IPO. I think he's more concerned about making his making the company Ripple the best company out there for cross-border payments. If, if it goes public, great. I mean, everybody in the XRP community is going to be super rich if that happens. I think the currency is going to push so high, it's going to be untouchable. Unless you got in early, forget it. You're never going to get in unless you have millions of dollars to pour into it. And then the lack of XRP endorsement. Now, this is the one that kind of got me baffled a little bit. Because we see XRP being endorsed by banks, by everyone out there. But then all of a sudden, again, the FUD comes in. They get these people that have, you know, these influencers that come out and they say, oh, it's the worst thing I ever bought. You know, I would not recommend XRP to anyone. I think it was the worst thing, the worst, worst cryptocurrency anyone can buy right now. But if you're a long-term holder of XRP, you just let that stuff go by. You don't care. But some people are influenced by that, and they're like, oh, well, my favorite you know, basketball player or my favorite baseball player said that XRP is you know, horrible. I want out because they take the war to people like that. And then that spreads through all of social media. It, you see it on the news when you turn it on. News anchors are saying, get out. Um, Fox Business, you go on there, you watch people who are supposed to be giving you good ideas and telling you what to buy. Instead, they're always hating crypto until crypto takes off. Then all of a sudden, they're telling everybody, FOMO in now. Now's the time to get in. No, now, right now, as we're sitting here, is the time to get in because guess what? Everything is down. So that's when you want to buy, and you want to buy as much of it as you can. Okay, and again, all you have to do is hold. If you hold it, you're going to be rich. That's it. That's all you need to know. How, what other investment can you get into where you say, okay, I'm going to take five thousand dollars and I'm going to throw it into this, and I'm and I'm going to do nothing. You don't have to do anything. Just sit and wait, and when and be patient. Because the worst thing you could do is be impatient in crypto. I learned that early on. 
when I first bought into crypto, I remember it was like fall of I believe 2020, right at, right at, right after COVID, and I was getting XRP back then for I believe it was around 26 cents, and I thought, wow, it just jumped up to like 31 cents, and I was like, wow, well, maybe I could sell now and buy back. But then what happens as a new investor, you sell and then the price drops two cents and then you jump online and you're like, wow, let me go research this a little bit. And everybody's like, oh, it's going to the moon. You better get in now. And then all of a sudden you buy back in and you just lost two cents on every one that you bought. So early on, I probably lost at least 5,000 XRP by doing stupid things like looking at the market and saying, oh, I'm going to sell and I'm going to wait until tomorrow and see if the price changes. Because at that time, I didn't realize that the price does not change overnight. It takes time and you wait and you wait for things like small crashes to come and that's the best time to buy in. But if I was a new investor again, I would just buy and hold. If you hold, you never lose. And that's just how it is. If you sit there and you stare at it every day and say, hey, maybe I could do what this guy did online. He shorted this coin and he made a fortune. The problem is if you don't know what you're doing, don't do it. And that's the best advice anyone can tell you. Now, how can you get to $1 million? It, will XRP get you to be a millionaire someday? Of course it will, but you have to be patient. It might not be this bull run, but here's what I would do. And this is not financial advice in any way, but this is what I am going to do. When XRP finally takes off and has its bull run, I'm going to cash out, take some profit, and I'm going to buy back on a low. And I don't suggest that to anyone new into crypto. I mean... It, you know, if you feel you can take profit and you hold enough that maybe you could just sell off 10%, great. But I would never sell the whole stack because we don't know what's going to happen. It goes on a bull run, the SEC lawsuit ends, and all of a sudden, the price skyrockets. Now you're not getting back in. And the worst thing is, if you're holding an asset and then all of a sudden you say to yourself, okay, I'm going to sell it. And then the price jumps up and you can't get back in because now you're going to be buying on the high. And then what happens is you buy in on the high and then all of a sudden the price dips again. That's what scares most people out of crypto. And that's more or less what's happening to a lot of people that you talk to. Like if I talk to somebody, you know, that is a new investor, they're always like, oh my God, the sky has fallen. I got to get out of this. And I always try to reassure them. That's not the best move right now, you know, because you bought higher than where we're at now. I am sure of it, you know, especially for new investors. How many people bought XRP when it was at a dollar because they FOMO'd in thinking it was going to $5 or $3 or $2? Well, when people FOMO in like that, all of a sudden they see a huge dip and they're like, oh, I don't want to lose all my money. XRP, in my opinion, is never going to zero. And it, I've seen people say it's going below zero. I mean, that's just ridiculous. How can something go to negative something? It, it, it doesn't make sense. If it gets down to zero, it's going to bounce back, if anything. So the, my advice for you all today is this. Just huddle on. Be patient. You know, look at the market. Don't get caught up in all the FUD that's out there right now all over the place with and everybody is still concerned about the crash and take it one day at a time and eventually uh we're gonna see this thing take off and when it does you'll be happy if you were patient and that you didn't listen to everyone else and you just did what you, you thought was best for you anyway have a great day guys and i'll be back with another video tomorrow maybe even later on today um everybody take care